Hey guys, Dave here with Transfer Express, and today we're talking all about what the startup cost is to start your t-shirt business. We're gonna cover how you can maximize your profit regardless of the t-shirt business model you are going to take. Let's get started and we'll jump right in. Now, if you're new to the channel, Transfer Express is the leading supplier of custom screen printed and digitally printed heat transfers for the apparel decorating industry. With two production facilities in Ohio and Arizona, we're able to meet the demand for our customers nationwide. We are dedicated to quality and customer service and helping grow custom apparel businesses is our number one priority. Everything we do is focused on making sure we send high quality, fashionable custom transfers on time and on a budget. Now here today, we're gonna break down our different methods, starting with the print on demand model. So there's websites out there similar to teespring.com where you could start your own t-shirt business for $0 investment. Now, if you wanted to start a clothing business and don't have any money whatsoever to start, this could be an option you could explore to see if your designs have a place in the market and you could sell. However, with no investment means that you are paying a lot of your profits to whichever service you are using. It is nowhere near as much of a profit as you would make if you are making the t-shirts yourself. Using these services, you don't have to focus on the actual production or printing methods, only the design and the marketing. So it is an added cost if you really wanna make money. Sure, there are great success stories of people making millions of dollars selling t-shirts, but there's a lot of advertising cost, especially in social media marketing that you have to tack onto that. Some people like to have a physical inventory if you're doing any flea markets or in-person shows now that events are coming back. You will need to purchase full inventory at retail price and then pay the commission on top of that. Now you will make a little bit of money back on those, but nowhere near the low price as if you were producing the shirts yourself. So the next method that we're gonna talk about is traditional screen printing. It involves squeegees and screens, photo emulsion, and inks. You do need space, you do need chemicals for cleanup, and you are not going to get, unless you are some prodigy, you will not be getting retail ready results uh, directly right off the bat when you start. The actual startup cost of screen printing does vary based on the setup of what you're starting with. You're looking about 20 to 25 on average for these pre-stretched screens. You may have to buy multiples, especially if you're doing multicolor artwork. Again, you need one screen for each color when you're printing a shirt. So you have to think about that. For like a four position platen manual press, those start right around 400 bucks and you could find those pretty widely available uh, all over the internet. Now on top of that, you're also going to need to pay for the emulsion. The emulsion is what this green coating is on the screen and every bottle of that is about 30 bucks. You will also need screen cleaner, which runs about 30 bucks as well. And that helps you reclaim these screens and reuse them. On top of the emulsion, the screen cleaner, you're gonna have to worry about squeegees. These squeegees come in at about 20 bucks a piece, depending on the size. This is a little uh, 12 inch, I think, squeegee. You could get them up to 40 inches, depending on really what you're screen printing. But this one works fine, going both ways on a screen of this size. But squeegee's about 20 bucks, and you'll also need one per ink color per printing session. You'll also need a flash unit. Now a flash unit is what you're gonna use to cure the inks, and those flash units run about $400 on the starting end. Now the inks that we have here are water-based acrylic inks that work for some apparel printing. Uh, now, depending on what ink you're buying, uh, they usually start about $15 to $30 for little jars like this, up to 50 to 60 bucks for big buckets if you're gonna be running through the colors a lot. Uh, colors like white. On top of the inks, you could also have some incurred costs of a clean out station. Um, if you don't have a nice sink in your basement or in your workspace, your garage, um, you're going to need to have a sink. Some people prefer pressure washers or any cleaners under pressure that helps you wash out and reclaim the screens. So you could build that into the cost. It's not gonna be an exact value and I don't wanna quote on that because you might be able to work with just what you have on hand in your shop already. So total, we're really looking at just over $1,000 for a basic starter setup. 
Now you're gonna be doing tons of reading and tons of learning and how to use it, and there's gonna be a lot of trial and error. If you get your emulsion right on the first time and your timing and your exposure and you wash it out all nice and clean on the first time, Good for you. Did not happen for me when I used to be screen printing. Uh, it took me a couple tries to get it right. So be aware that you are going to have quite the learning curve. You will be wasting uh, emulsion and inks and garments as you learn. Now the next method that we're going to be talking about is direct to garment. You just load a t-shirt onto these machines that you could have on a countertop or a desk at home and be able to print full color, high quality graphics. Uh, almost instantly. There is quite a high startup cost associated with this and also a maintenance cost, whether it be ink cartridges getting clogged or the print heads getting clogged and not printing clearly. There's a lot of mechanics that could go wrong and cost you a lot of money down the line, especially when we're looking at the cost of a desktop at home or small business direct to garment printer you are looking in the $7,000 to $16,000 range. Um, now those really, really vary. I've seen some even as low as a couple thousand dollars, but I haven't heard anything good about those machines. So really you are looking at that kind of $7,000 range at the low end. Now the ink cartridges come just like your printers that you used to buy to print from your computer, except they're a little bit more expensive because they do have the fabric apparel inks with them. So you're looking more at 200 to 250 per ink cartridge. Now you're gonna need at least four plus white. You also have to look at the pre-treatment and chemicals that you will be using. Now those range anywhere from 50 to 100 bucks depending on the brand and the needs of your specific printer. In addition to the pre-treatment, a lot of the ease of use of direct-to-garment comes from automating the process. So you may need an automated pre-treat unit. Uh, now those units usually start in the, about the 800 to $1,000 range and scale all the way up to a couple thousand dollars a pop. They're pretty much just a box with a sprayer. You could get away with spraying yourself, but you may run into inconsistent ink adherence on the actual shirt, uh, which is not gonna be the retail quality that you're gonna be wanting to send out. Now, in addition to all of that, you're also going to need a flash unit or a dryer to fully cure the direct-to-garment inks. Now, those range anywhere from 400 to $1,000 on the low end for those units, all the way up if you're running a production shop, they could get quite expensive. So the total cost of a direct to garment setup is really looking into that like 10 to $11,000 range, which is a huge investment if you're just starting up your t-shirt business. Now there is some resale market value for the direct to garments and some of the newer printers just produce stunning results. But if you're anything like me, I don't have an extra 10 grand to blow on an investment starting a t-shirt business that I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make money directly out of the gate. So our next method is talking about heat transfer vinyl. The startup cost is relatively low, especially when you're talking about a more inexpensive heat press. Now this pink craft press from Stahl's Hoptronics is absolutely awesome for just starting out. A nine by 12 print platen here on the bottom uh, allows you to print most tote bags, t-shirts, hoodie graphics, and Hoptronics has great press options available. 310 for the pink craft press. Now there are tons of alternatives for uh, your actual vinyl cutter. This is a Cricut Air Explorer 2. Cricut machine like this runs about 200 bucks, but depending on the vinyl that you are using, you may need uh, some extra cutting mats. Those run about uh, 10 to $15 a piece. You're talking $20 per roll of vinyl. So everything all in tall told total, if you go with an option similar to these two machines that I have in front of me, you're looking right around that 900 to thousand dollar range for your startup cost. Uh, that absolutely depends on how much vinyl you're going to be stocking. While vinyl does come in a ton of different colors, you could buy variety packs. It still is a little expensive if you're buying a five foot roll of it when you only really need a little tiny piece. So you will pay for a little bit more than you need, but this is a great method for getting started under a thousand bucks. Now our favorite absolutely is 
printing with screen printed transfers. It is the absolute easiest way to start and with an investment only of the heat press, it is one of the most affordable options to get into the t-shirt game. Pretty much anybody could do this. Your grandma could do this. If you are a grandma, no offense, but this is really easy and you could, you could easily press a shirt. While the initial startup investment is only with the press, you do have a cost associated with the transfers themselves. So the cost of the transfers themselves is dependent on your actual art. Obviously one color is going to be cheaper than if you go two color or three color. We handle all of the ink mixing. We handle all of the chemicals and cleanup of screen printing for you. So you just get the transfers themselves with the ink ready to go and ready to apply. I wanna show you how quickly you could apply and knock out those large runs with a four second application with our standard goof proof product. We'll come on over to the heat press here at our 16 by 20 auto clam and I'll show you exactly how it's done. Another benefit of using the screen printed transfers is that you buy the whole sheet. So you're able to use what we call a gang sheet where you are grouping multiple images on the same sheet further maximizing your profit and dropping the per piece print cost. On here, you can see three of our full front graphics and three tags corresponding with some different sizes. Now we have already cut one of these out here and we just have to place it directly right down onto our garment right after we pre-press for about four seconds. And that's gonna remove any moisture and wrinkles from the garment. Now we'll take our transfer, place it face down onto the garment here, and we'll just press this for about four seconds, and that's gonna make it beautifully adhere to the garment and make it look like a retail-ready product. And that's it. Now we'll just peel this in a smooth and even motion immediately, and as it comes off, there we go. There is a brand new printed t-shirt that is just absolutely beautiful and ready to sell. The cost, let's break it down, 310 bucks for this craft press here. So this is really your only investment until you need to start making t-shirts and then you just buy your transfers, which for five gang sheets at one color on our Goof Proof is just under 40 bucks. Um, and then tack some shipping onto that and you got the transfers coming to your door, ready to roll, ready to apply, all pre-registered and ready to get a shirt printed. I hope that we laid out enough overview of the different decoration methods that you can make an informed decision on what's gonna work best for you and your business. Personally, if I were to start over with my 10 years of screen printing experience, I would choose the screen printed transfers. Screen printed transfers, absolutely the easiest way to get to that store retail ready quality without investing a lot of your time, your money, your sanity into the process as well. Of course, here at Transfer Express, we are always dedicated to your t-shirt business and helping you is our number one priority. If you liked this video or learned something, go ahead and click that thumbs up button. As always, we ask you to subscribe. We are dropping new inspirational and educational t-shirt and t-shirt business knowledge every single week. So stay tuned for what's coming up next. But until next time, I'm Dave and happy pressing guys.